reach people. The idea of like minds has been a theme throughout my entire career. I always try to surround myself with like-minded musicians. And what that really means to me is musicians who have an understanding and a deep love and appreciation and veneration uh, for a lot of the greats that I love. But in addition to having that veneration and that love and appreciation, the musicians that I choose to surround myself with also want to push the envelope. And in the tradition of my mentor, Jackie McLean, and some of my favorites like Joe Henderson and George Coleman, and um, that list goes on and on, I try to surround myself with like-minded people. And on this album, we surely have that. And in my band in general, we surely have that with Ugono Okegwo, who always lays it down. He's like the father figure of the band, always holding down the bass groove. <laughs> Some things I have a little bit of a different feel. It's interesting. I like the music. It's not as predictable, I would say. I find it very, you know, exciting and surprising. By the rivers of Babylon, then we sit down. The same goes with the wonderful talent of Gregory Porter. Gregory's voice is really like none others. I've always wanted to work with him and get something on recording. When we remembered Zion. David Kikoski on piano, who always brings a great youthful energy uh, in addition to technical virtuosity and a uh, great uh, artistic and musical understanding. The other special thing is having some special guests. I think uh, Tom Harold may be coming by to do some trumpet work, so I haven't seen him for a long time, so it should be a nice record when it finally comes out. I'm playing on this kind of uh, one is like a giant steps kind of fast swing thing and uh, but we did like classic old uh, Duke Pearson tune Idle Moments which is uh, from one of my favorite Grant Green records it'll be swinging <laughs> play this music for a couple weeks in Europe and got to work it out and uh, see how people liked it and stuff and that was that was a lot of fun and now it, it to, to actually get to play it and, uh, and get to see it coming together it feels like a lot of tension finally released <laughs> the other stuff is, is all of mo mostly mostly Wayne's original so I mean it's just you know a lot of great music <laughs> It's really an honor and a thrill to have Mark Whitfield Jr. joining us, replacing our previous master drummer and great friend, Ralph Peterson Jr. Ralph always loved Mark and said that he was really his prized pupil, so it feels really great to have Mark taking the helm. I'm very happy with what's happening here, so like minds, know you're gonna love it. Mm -hmm.